Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're partying together this $1,100 RTX 3060 gaming PC. And this build is brought to you by our friends over at Micro Center, our favorite place to go pick up PC parts when we can go in person. They have some of the best deals you can get on PC hardware, especially during these shortages. It's probably your best opportunity to go pick up a brand new 3000 series or 6000 series AMD card. So definitely go to Micro Center if you can. Look at all those gifted subs, because we're streaming right now over on Twitch, building this PC and giving it away. So now let's not waste any more time and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this $1,100 gaming PC build. So we decided to go with the all new Intel i5-11400. This is the newest 11 gen i5. It's a six core 12 thread, basically on par with like a 5600X or like a Ryzen 3600, but Intel's variant. And sometimes Intel is easier to get especially in person, and you basically get the same performance, sometimes for a cheaper price too. Now for the motherboard, we have the ASRock B560M Pro 4. This is a really good B560M motherboard, and I think this is like one of the cheaper ones you can get, 115 bucks, I don't even know if that's the right price, but that's what's on there. And of course, has all the NVMe you could need, and it has some RGB on the board. It has a nice white and black color scheme. And for RAM, we have 16 gigs of crucial RGB ballistics RAM, and it's 3600 megahertz, so it's about the fastest you can get right now on a motherboard like this. It's so fast that it just makes you think twice about doing things. <laughs> And to cool this i5, we have the Hyper 212 Black Edition. We really like the Cooler Master Hyper 212, especially the Black Edition, because it just looks a lot nicer than the OG Hyper 212 that has all different kinds of colors on it. Usually around $40 to $50, and it's honestly one of the best coolers we have found. I'm not gonna say this in the video, he's recording me saying it right now, but in the video, I'm just gonna act like this is the right card, because we're just gonna stick with this one for video purposes, but the uh, actual card that's gonna be given away is different. This is a temporary placeholder. It's still 3060, but it's not this 3060. Okay, here we go. Now for the graphics card, we have this Zotac Gaming RTX 3060. Yes, you heard that right, a 3060. We absolutely love the 3060, and well, unfortunately, it's really hard to get these or any other graphics card right now, but if you can get your hands on 3060, you will not be disappointed. Absolutely great for 1080p, high refresh rate gaming, and 1440p if you want to, and it will pair very well with the i5-11400. Now for the power supply, we have Micro Center's in-house brand. This is their PowerSpec 650 watt semi-modular power supply. We love these power supplies because, well, they're Micro Center's in-house brand and we've got a show for Micro Center during these videos. But in all honesty, they're great power supplies. We really like building with them and being semi-modular, we can make sure this build looks nice and clean. Yeah. Oh Whoa. my God! Bro, Look, hold up. 10 gifted hold subs. Up. Jasper, say hi for the camera. You're on the video. Now for storage, we have the Inland Premium one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, it's a really good value SSD that Microsoft does offer and they also sell on other websites as well. But Inland is a go-to reliable brand and one terabytes in most like high-end builds, thousand dollar plus is pretty much a necessity if you're gonna play anything other than Call of Duty Cold War or Warzone on your PC. So this is a good option. Now for the case. Unfortunately, we had some shipping issues and we're unable to actually use the case that Micro Center was gonna send over, but we have our good friends Montech here with their new X3 case, which comes with a ton of RGB fans. I think it's like totally decked out. It has three in the front and then three in the, two in the top, one in the back. So we have a lot of RGB that's ready to go, has some nice uh, mesh up front that looks really nice. And uh, yeah, we always like Montech's cases because they're really good for the money and they're not very expensive. They're good value for money cases. And uh, I'm very excited to build in this one to see how the RGB looks. Let's not waste any more time and put this thing together.
All right, guys, now that we have this $1,100 Micro Center gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Fortnite, Call of Duty Cold War, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Chivalry 2. Now, first up with Fortnite on performance mode, we start to see how well the i5-11400 performs by getting well over 200 plus FPS. Now, there were some limitations with the 11400 because I do think the B560 motherboard we got has some power limits on it where this 11400 can't boost nearly as high as it needs to. So, if you were wanting to get probably a little bit better performance without having to, well, do some modifications in the BIOS, an i5-10400 might actually perform a little bit better, which seems a little bit backwards, but how power hungry 11 gen is, the 10 gen might perform a little bit better on this motherboard. So, do keep that in mind if you mainly play esports titles, you could save some money and also get a little bit more performance. The RTX 3060 shows, once again, it's one of the best budget GPUs you can get, well, when you can actually buy it. Again, I really hope these things come in stock soon because the RTX 3060 is an absolute monster, would be great for entry-level live streaming, can play pretty much any game you want at 1080p and 1440p. I see this being the most popular card for people getting into 1440p high refresh rate because it could easily play those games no problems whatsoever at that resolution. Next up with Call of Duty Cold War, on a mixture of medium-high settings, we average over 130 plus FPS. That's the RTX 3060 for you, just showing how powerful it is being able to play pretty much any game you throw at it at 100 plus FPS, especially at 1080p. You have no problem running a 1080p 144Hz monitor setup and getting a locked 144fps with modified settings. And at $1,100 MSRP, hopefully this becomes a regular thing, it, this is an awesome combo. And the 11400 and 3060 just make a whole lot of sense together. The next thing we tested was Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the built in benchmark tool. And on high settings, we averaged 127 FPS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is our AAA benchmark of choice and goes to show that this PC can handle most AAA titles out there. All the new ones coming to the market, games like Cyberpunk, you should be able to get 60 plus FPS on medium high settings, and a lot of the newer AAA titles that will come out later this year, you should have no problems whatsoever getting over 60 FPS at 1080p and at 1440p if you lower some settings. And last but certainly not least, a new game that's come to the market, Chivalry 2, and on high settings, we average over 144 FPS. If you guys haven't played this game before, it's kind of like a, well, Call of Duty with medieval warfare. You basically run around with a sword and battle people. There's a bunch of different classes, and you can level up and play a, lot, a bunch of different game modes. So uh, I really love the first Chivalry game. The Chivalry 2 game just came out, and it's been a lot of fun. We played it on our Twitch Marathon live stream, which you haven't fo followed us already. Follow us over on Twitch, because that's how you win the PC we gave away. Uh, but really, Really, Chivalry is a good game to play. It looks really good and it runs really well on this PC. So overall, I'm incredibly happy with this PC for the money. I'm glad we were able to put it together and then give it away to one of our Twitch viewers. So once again, those commenting on this video, how do we enter to win the PC? We already gave the PC away. You can enter to win the next PC next month by following us over on Twitch and also join our Discord to get updated on how you can win the PC. So definitely check those links in the description down below. How about we bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so as you imagined, as always, Micro Center came through and the PC works amazing. And this one actually booted right up. I feel like normally when we do higher end builds, we have all kinds of random issues, but this one plugged it in and it was ready to go. The RTX 3060 and 11400 is a combo we wish was readily available for everybody, but the fact that we were able to see what it looks like and have some hope that when the market gets better, this would be a go-to option for most people out there. Well, it was pretty good to see. And we highly suggest you pick up these parts by using the link in the description down below. Shop at Micro Center if you can, of course, because they're the sponsor of this build. But if you can't, there's some other links to other websites to try to find the best prices you can on this PC build. So thanks again to Micro Center for helping us out with this as always. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasterbros where we already gave this PC away. You can stay tuned for the next one and we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. So this PC here was a giveaway PC, so we're not selling it, but we are actually hosting a giveaway soon at our other business, PCBros.Tech, where you could win another PC as well while playing some games and meeting all the Toasty Bros. Head over to PCBros.Tech to buy from us, and also go to the Facebook page to learn more about that event, July 24th. Hope to see you guys there. Goodbye.